Hello and welcome. A few years ago, I ended up trying to attempt gaming on this channel with Kingdom Hearts. And uh, <laughs> trying is a huge word of that choice because I never finished it and I ended up rage quitting and not picking it up again for three years. <laughs> it's so slow. No, no, no. Okay, feel, feel. No! Ah! I'm done. No! Are you kidding me? I was this close. I was this close. I was this close. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I like this game, but I hate it. <sighs> I learned my lesson in that aspect. But I realized I never introduced the realm of gaming onto this channel. I kind of jumped into it, kind of throwing all these different ideas on the wall that I wanted to do, like I've done with everything else. But I wanted to sit down and change that so it's a little bit more um, structured and understanding of what I want to do. Ever since then, I've always wanted to pick it up again and actually finish the game because it's a really interesting game. I've loved the setup of it and I love the whole culture and phenomenon behind it. And originally my goal was to do Kingdom Hearts 1, complete that series, Kingdom Hearts 2, complete that series, Kingdom Hearts 3, and then continue on and open the world up to different games that has, Disney has done. But now knowing how difficult those games are, I'm gonna need some time in between to get back into them. And there are so many other games Disney has done, a lot of them that I grew up loving, and a lot of them that I never played. But the idea of video gaming and Disney goes hand in hand for a while now. If you're going back into retrospective, Disney Interactive came out in the mid 90s. And it was really cool because I missed that time generally. I was a kid at that point, but it was awesome to see how much gaming was developed for computers without the internet. So it's completely different from all the mobile gaming that completely shifted in the 2010s. And it's so sad that I'm saying 2010s as in a decade that is in the past now, like the 90s. Ugh, hate it. But there are so much to cover and I realized that I've never did a full introduction into how much I want to game and how much I love gaming. You can see I have the setup behind me here and I do use it, I do love gaming. I have not only this, but I also have all of my consoles that I play on. So I have my computers and I also have a computer that runs on Windows XP. So I have all of my old Windows 98 games that I've been wanting to play forever. And this is the year I'm gonna do it, finally. As well as I have my consoles. So I have um, my Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 2, Nintendo 64, and Nintendo Switch. So there's a lot of ground to cover and there's so many games that they have done in that really short time span. I say really short time span as it's been 30 years. And they've also had a lot of games on the NES, which I don't own, but I have friends that own it. So there's so much that I can do and it's so easy to get now, which is fantastic. There's a whole trend right now of cozy gaming and I've always been a cozy gamer and I feel like a lot of Disney games are perfect for that. And they're the perfect aesthetic for cozy gaming. I'm not including Kingdom Hearts on that because holy sh crap. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I hate this. I'm like, ah. it's like war flashbacks right there. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to jump back in again and to be able to go back and rediscover some of my old favorites, play some new favorites, and also hopefully not want to kill the games. Once I complete Kingdom Hearts, but I will have help this time. I'm not doing it by myself. That is something that I've learned. New videos are coming on the way and welcome to the gaming era as well as my regular content. This will be part of the staple content that I'm making and I'm really, really excited about it and I hope you guys really enjoy 
But until then, as always, I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye.